Hello ladies and gentlemen, Dave here. Um, I haven't been slacking off. I've been working on uh, getting something done here for you guys. Uh, since most of my viewers are in the United States, what I've done is I started a new character in the on the North American server. All my characters originally are on the European server. So I'm really getting this started now. Um, he is level 28, so it doesn't seem high right now. I've had him for I think this is my seventh day and I'll explain why here in just a moment. But one of the things I didn't think about whenever I was creating my videos was actually money. Where are you going to make your gold when you are just starting out? Well, when they released the um, antiquities line, they really helped us out there a lot. And maybe they didn't know it, maybe they did, but they really helped us out a lot. So a lot of your money is probably going to come from that. Okay, so if we take a look at my inventory, I've got, went ahead and kept a few things here just so we can look at it. Um, as you can see, my gold is 72,120. That's just from playing, um, doing a few other things, and I'll get to that in just a moment. But if you look here, I have all three of these. Okay, this one also. Okay, the Basalt Table Game Set, the Great House Gold Chalice, the... Jerry's I I have no idea how to say that. Jury Sarib's I the Nord Copper Shield, um, the Wolf Head Brooch. Now all of these I got from scrying. Okay, so if we look at them, there's three of them here. That's three thousand gold. Uh, that's seven hundred and fifty gold. That's another three thousand. That's another thousand. That's seven hundred um, two fifty. That's another uh, seven hundred and fifty. So those two are a thousand. So that's quite a bit of gold there. So if I take it, that's just three regions. Now that doesn't include the purple ones because I haven't got to the purple scrying yet. So once I get to the purple scrying, then we'll actually see uh, how much I make. Now, don't forget you also get some of these little ones in there too for like 40K. Uh, these ones here I got for like 40K here. Um, so these ones make some money there also. So now if we look, I made 9,000 gold just on those right there. 9,000 gold just scrying for uh, probably about an hour, okay? The other place I'm making my gold is from stealing, okay? From stealing stuff. So that means you have to put something in the ledger main skill line, okay? If you really wanna do it right, okay? So right now I just have light fingers and trafficker. Well, Light Fingers helps me pickpocket, and I actually can put another one in right now if I want, which I probably will here very shortly. And Trafficker means I can sell more per day, and I might be able to put another one in here. So that means if I only get green items, and let's say I get to the max of the Trafficker, okay, I'll be making anywhere between 15 and 20,000 gold a day just stealing stuff, okay? So you could just gotta make sure your bag's big enough to handle that, or you need to have, uh, get close enough to a place where you can just drop it off quickly the uh, stolen items and then come back okay so that's where I'm making my gold right now um, those two places now there are other places that you can make gold too uh, going to the thieves guild okay running the first quest there and then going in and doing the daily quest on the board you will make gold off of there a little bit not too much we're talking maybe 750 gold each time but if you get a motif that's where you're going to make money. So you put the motif on the guild store. Most of the thieves guilds uh, motifs still sell over 10,000, maybe even over 15,000. Uh, you just need to check uh, some of the guild traders and see which it is, All right? So uh, the other thing I wanted to show you was I did go over this in my original uh, training video on this, but I want to show you just so that you understand exactly. Now I am using a mage, okay? So I need to do I'm using uh, clothing, okay? So if we look at my researching here, okay? So this is my jerkin, okay? You can already see that I've done, I'm on my third item here, okay? My boot, uh, my shoes, I've already done three items. My gloves, I'm on my third item. My breeches, I've done two. And my sash, I've done three items, okay? If you look at all my other ones, I really haven't researched anything in any of these other ones. Now, I did here because the arm cops, because they're medium, okay, because I'm going to have a heavy helm, a medium arm cops, and uh, light body, okay? So if you look, all the other ones I haven't even touched yet, okay? 
because I need to get these researched out as fast as possible. These ones need to be researched immediately, as soon as possible. Okay, I started with training. Okay, once I got the training done, I went to infused on most, most of them. Okay, I didn't go to divines yet because divines is going to be the most expensive in the guild store. Okay, if you can't find it running around. Okay, obviously divines is a little bit harder to find. If you need to buy it in the guild store, it's a little bit harder. Uh, it's a little more expensive. Okay, so I'm also doing heavy helm. Okay, so if we come over here and take a look at my helm. All right, there it is. Okay, so I'm researching my th uh, third one. Now, on the heavy side, divines aren't used near as often, so their prices are quite a bit lower. Um, so you might be able to find divines on this if you're working on a uh, magic or a stamina build. Okay, now obviously if you're working on a, a tank build or something sturdy, reinforced, those are going to be more expensive for you probably in the guild store. Okay, uh, over here on my staffs. Okay, we have, oh, we have already started researching out those. Okay, so on my Inferno staff, I'm on my fourth item here. Okay, my Lightning staff, I'm also on my fourth item. Okay, and then the jewelry, I believe I've started my fourth item also on my jewelry. Okay, now the reason I'm showing you this is because the gear, okay? The gear that you can create, if you're not going to ask for somebody to create gear for you and you're doing it by yourself, this is what we got to do. Okay, so my ring is right here. I'm on my fourth one and I already have a ring backed up or a, a necklace backed up right there, ready to go. Okay, so my first set of gear that I made. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, now this is a magic build, but it does, the even if you're doing a, a stamina build, you're pretty much going to research the same things I am. If you're doing heavy armor like as in a tank build you're probably going to be researching on the the other side on the uh, heavy armor and you're going to be researching sturdy and stuff but it, it, it's all, the value is all the same you're just going to research different traits first okay so on my first gear i actually went with uh helm of ash and grip now this is good for your stamina builds Okay, but I went, I went with it because I'm limited on what I can have. There's only three things that I can create. So on my Helm of Ash and Grip, okay, I went here with this one because it only takes two, um, two traits to get this because it gives me a maximum health, okay? So I need a little more health, okay? My shoulders are the same here, okay? Now, if you look, they're training, all right? So now my body, I went with an innate axum. Okay, now granted, it's not the best one in the game, but it does give me uh, maximum magicka, spell critical, um, and spell and weapon damage. So it gives me 437 due to the fact that I did make it green. Okay, it is green on him. Um, it, it's not the best because this one only adds spell damage to your class abilities. Okay, so what are my class abilities? Okay anything in this section here okay these ones here so my staff it does nothing for my staff at all nothing zero okay now it does because it does have weapon or um uh, because it does have the uh where is it spell critical okay but actually the number five for five I items it doesn't do much for me but that's okay because right now the mobs i'm fighting they're not that tough anyways i can get through it i can deal with it all right, so the other thing that I did was I had enough on my staffs and my jewelry to go ahead and create uh, the armor of seducer. Now, this is a three set or three trait set, okay? But I was able to create it for this because it went a little bit faster on my weapons. Uh, as you can see, this re uh, the final one is reduces my cost of my magicka by 10%. Now, with the cost reduction of that and also in my skills, okay, due to the fact that I am a Briton, and uh, I already have another 2% uh, two reduction here. Now my next set is gonna give me maybe an 8% uh, reduction. Um, the Magnus set, it has a possibility of an 8% reduction on my skills. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm really trying to save myself here on Magicka because you know I don't have tons of Magicka yet due to the fact that it's early build. All right, so now how am I getting all my stuff? Okay, like my jewelry. 
how did I get my jewelry that I needed? Okay, well, the first few sets of jewelry that I got, um, I found. Arcane, healthy, robust. These ones you're going to find everywhere. I mean, you just, just play the game for 10 minutes, and you're going to have all three of these to do it. Now, the infused ones, these is a little bit different. Okay, if you followed my videos before, you know that I preach about the um, Sigic order skill line. Okay, you need to get the first one that you do in Somerset so you can see the unseen. Okay, uh, I believe I picked one ring up from a Sigic portal, right? And the other one I bought. Okay, so, well, how can you buy this stuff, man? It's so expensive. Well, I, like I said, I've been scrying, I've been making money, I forgot a couple motifs, I went ahead and sold them. Uh, so, how did I do it? Okay, well, I have bought a lot of stuff. So, I found a couple guilds that sell stuff really, really cheap. Okay, so I go in here, I search for, let's say, apparel, uh, light armor. Uh, we're going to say all pieces, and let's do a search for training just to see what comes up. Even though I'm done, we'll just go ahead and do a search for training. Where is training? I don't see it. There it is. I'm right on top of it. And look at that, 141 gold. Elegant shoes, 270. So almost right here, you could get almost everything you need for under 1,000 gold to research those traits. All right, so if you don't find them when you're playing and you have 141 gold, buy them, put it in there, get it started, get it started training immediately on those, okay? Because you really need to get those done. Now, like I said, a lot of the uh, guilds or a lot of the money that I'm getting from is from stealing. Uh, a lot of it is from doing the antiquity skill line. Um, I still haven't got to the purple, as I said, but once I get to the purple, Okay, that takes three of five here. Once I get to the purple, each one of those is worth 5,000 gold. Okay, so the green is worth 250, the blue is worth, worth 1,000, and the purple is worth 5,000. Now, the green and the blue you can do three times. The purple you can only do once. Okay, so you're gonna make a lot of money. Um, if you watch my scry one of my scrying videos, I put it in there. Uh, I believe total through scrying antiquities you make almost 300,000 gold. Okay, that doesn't include anything that else that you find that you put in the guild store. That doesn't, that's just what you get for scrying in the antiquities. Now, 100,000 of that comes from when you actually do all the green, blue, and gold, and you go back to um, Solitude, and you find the lead for the 100,000 gold sheet. Okay, so it's gonna take you a while to do that, but this is really a steady flow of gold, constantly. It's constantly coming in, Probably until you reach, probably, you know, depending on if you go through every region and do it all in one day, which I don't think you can, but if you could, you know, obviously you're going to use all that money up immediately. But, uh, yeah, so just constantly go through and do one region a day, maybe two, and you'll have a steady flow of gold. Now, the other thing is, is get on your daily crafting, your daily crafting. Uh, right now I'm making about 3,000 gold a day just from daily crafting. So remember to pick up your crafting writs every single day and do them. Now, I do know that it's hard to do crafting writs when you start, but if we take a look at my stuff here, if we look at my um, materials, okay, I have 173, I have 362, okay, so I have a lot of materials already. I'm doing Sanded Beach now, and I already have 173. Okay, I have enough to craft me probably up until I hit level 20 when it changes over. I believe it's level 20. Uh, I can craft. I almost have enough to do that. Why? Because I spend time farming. Farming is key. You've got to farm if you want to do this stuff. Plus the materials, if you're going to take them, you can go ahead and take those materials that you're not using anymore. Okay, so these materials right here, I know it's not much. But you could put these on the guild store. People are constantly looking for sanded maple or for sanded oak because they've already gone over. Um, they start a new character. They don't want to farm. So you can put these on the guild store and sell them. That is if you're not going to make another character because you'll put yourself in the same situation as them. All right. Uh, th those are easy because you can find some materials everywhere. Now, the food wise, uh, it's a little slim here, but these come from running dungeons. Okay, so if we look here, uh, the one that I'm using right now is Red Deer Stew. Okay, so game is nine. Uh, tomato, I have 16. 
Okay, that seems like a very small amount. That makes me nine of those. But technically, it's going to make me 18 because in my skills, I've already put in under my provisioning. I've already done chef. Okay, so as soon as you can put chef in, you got to do it. Uh, I believe that comes up at 10 that you can do that. Brewer and chef are both at 10, I believe it is. So as soon as you can put that in, that way you can go ahead and start uh, saving yourself some supplies. Now remember, you get your supplies from dungeons, uh, just stealing them on the street. So that just really means you also have to get your ledger main up. Okay, you have to get that up early. Um, not all of it, just get some of the stuff here. You know, the light fingers and the trafficker, those are the most important because trafficker is where I'm gonna take the things that I steal, take it to the uh, Thieves Guild or wherever you, you take it, take it to the Thieves Guild, and I go ahead and I launder it. Then I put it in my bank, okay? So remember that, that you've got to keep those up. So this is my point of view coming at this. Uh, looking at it from a new player, um, technically is what I'm doing, but I'm an old player, so I kind of know where to look for stuff. I know where to find the money. I know what I need to do. Um, as you can see, I don't even have the CP here. It's not even here, okay? So I haven't used any crowns yet, uh, except for getting the banker and the um, merchant because I, I kind of do need those because I haven't added anything to my craft bag yet. I haven't made it any bigger yet. It's still at the same original size. I think they gave me one upgrade uh, for just playing. So, all right, guys, I know it's been a little bit thin. Uh, it's a little bit thin this week on material for you guys, but I've been really trying to get this crafter or get this guy going so that I can help you on the North American server out um, whenever you have a request. All right, guys, so if you like the video, uh, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.